going to show you how the north arrows work in our project. Down here in this title block, I have a dynamic block made. This shows our scale for both horizontal and vertical. This block has multiple visibility states, so when you highlight it, you can have this pull down, and there's multiple visibility states of this block. Currently, we're at 20 to 5 with a north arrow, 20 horizontal to a 5 vertical um, exaggeration in a scale. If we do just 40 north, it changes to a 40 scale with the north arrow. There's 60, 10, and below the ones with north, we have just the horizontal scales only without a north arrow. Or you can have the north arrow only. For um, plan and profile sheets, we'll use the 20 to 5 north. For just plan sheets, we'll use the 20 only scale. And I'll show you why here in a minute. If we go to our signing and striping sheets, which are our plan only sheet, we have it set to the 20 only currently. And I've put north arrows up here in our sheets. To get the north arrows associated with your viewport, the current workflow is to use one of the Civil 3D north arrows that are associated in here. Highlight one of those. Click the viewport you're associating with. And I want to put it on the center O-snap of this north arrow, so I'm going to hold down shift, right click, hit center, make that center, and it came in at an odd scale, so it's coming in really small, but what I'll do is I'll click this north arrow, and then this will change that, and then I just zoom in and go to the end point of that, and it lines up.